Hello, hello, beautiful people. <sighs> Take a deep breath with me. It is Sunday. For me, it is recalibration day. I would love to know in the comments how you recalibrate and get ready for your week. Sunday is always a day for me where I get outside, even if it's rainy, get grounded, do some serious inner work, cleanse my field from the week, from the weekend, like call all of my energy back and meditate, do some Kundalini yoga, do some tapping. I've already done a 45 minute session of tapping with some beautiful women in my business earlier today. That was magical. And now I wanted to show up here for you for day 11 on our quantum healing, gratitude, EFT journey. So please say hello in the comments if you're joining me. Sending you so much love. And I'm reminding you that you are still in the minority. If you are showing up, even just dropping in every once in a while, when you see this pop up, if you are dropping in, doing the thing, doing the inner work, meditating, you know, doing the things that the matrix intentionally seeks to pull us out of, you are in the minority. And so I raise a glass to you for doing the work because you are the trailblazers, you are the revolutionists, you are the pioneers, and we get to do this together. We cannot possibly fathom the level of change, the level of impact, the level of love and light that we are delivering to the earth, to the collective, to the universe, to the multiverse, and taking the time to be in the silence and taking the time to connect with the energies that appear to have no power, but really have all of the power. Like we are doing the damn thing. So thank you for showing up to co-create with me in this way. I am witnessing you, I am celebrating you. Sometimes it feels like a thankless job when we reflect on what's happening in the 3D world. However, we are doing so much more than we can possibly fathom. And the fruits of our labor will be evident to us in this 3D world before we know it. And if you've been doing the work for a little while, you're already seeing, feeling the results in the physical world because we are all living on different timelines simultaneously. Like we've agreed to this collective experience, but even then it's like, what experience are you tapping into? What collective are you tapping into? And so I'm here to remind you to get your water. I've got our water, let's take the lid off. But I'm here to remind you that every time you say yes to something like this, every time you say yes to a meditation, to a, an intentional prayer of gratitude, to this EFT tapping quantum healing gratitude journey, you are deliberately connecting in the quantum field with all of the other people who are doing this. So you are calling those people into your experience. You are agreeing to a different timeline, a different collective experience than all of the people who are watching the news and following politi politics and all of the other fear mongering and bullshit that's going on there. They feed that to us because they want to create the timeline. You know, there, I see a lot of talk about the Simpsons predicting the future. Yo, the Simpsons didn't predict anything. The Simpsons, all of that shit was intentionally planted into that cartoon to build the timeline. And guess what? Every time we watched that shit, we said yes subconsciously to building that timeline. They weren't predicting the future. They were creating the future. And so you get to choose, what do I engage with? What am I creating? So, good flipping job.
because when you come here and you dip into this high frequency, like what are your frequency standards, right? We get to set them and hold them and enhance them, expand them together. So I'm witnessing you for showing up. And I'm witnessing me for showing up because showing up live for 28 days straight is not easy, especially when you have three kids and you're building multiple businesses. Like it's a lot, but I'm happy to do it because always something always shifts for me when I say yes to supporting the collective from a place of overflow. Something massive always shifts when I say yes to this. So. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your love. Do you have your gratitude rock? Catch your gratitude rock. Let's infuse it with some love. I have my glass of water that I keep adding words of affirmation that you suggest to me. So drop some words in the comments. I'll continue to add. And are you ready? Let's do this. So let's take a nice deep breath. Nice low belly breath. Remember, we're telling the body we're safe when we breathe low in the belly. Full breath. It's like that wave, that beautiful wave of water, that wave of creation. You breathe low, and then you carry that breath up into the upper lungs, creating a wave of impact, a wave of creation, a wave of love within the body. And smile. To reset the nervous system. Remember, we get to flood the body with oxytocin as we tap. And so let's start by tapping on our head. And I want you to send some love. Please send some love to this beautiful glass of water that we are infusing with masses and masses of love and gratitude. As we tap, we're witnessing our intentional connection with our physical body that we love, love, love so much. We are witnessing our intentional collaboration with our nervous system, regulating our nervous system, loving our nervous system, loving our body back into the wholeness, back into the truth that is we get to hold an immense amount of joy when we get to intentionally expand our ability to hold joy through this experience of EFT tapping. Deep breath. Remember, we don't even have to say any words and there's still a massive shift. One more nice deep breath, low into the belly, waving up into the upper chest. I want you to, in your mind's eye, see your heart field expand expand beyond your body, stretching out, filling the entire room. I'm just gonna wrap my heart light around this beautiful glass of water and invite you to send your love into the water as well. Deep breath. Okay, I'm gonna sit it down now. I'll keep the lid off and we'll just keep sending love to it. I'm holding my gratitude rock in my hand as I tap, just infuse it with masses of love. I'm going to go to the inside of the eye. Deep breath. Exhale. And what we're going to do as we tap here is we're going to kind of review our day, maybe even review your weekend and your week. And we're going to wrap all of our experiences, even those that don't seem to be good experiences, we're gonna wrap them all in love. We're gonna do it in a very specific way. And we're doing this because we're prepping ourselves for the gratitude practice that we'll carry into tomorrow morning, okay? So the practice that we're gonna do tomorrow morning, go ahead and move to your outer eye, deep breath, is a full day of gratitude of like before your feet even hit the ground, you're going to wake up and say, thank you for your pillow. Thank you for your bed. Thank you for my pillow. Thank you for my bed. And so let's walk through this now. I want you to, let's just go back, take yourself back into the morning. I want you to, in your inner vision, see yourself laying in bed this morning. Deep breath. And now open your eyes. Feel the bed that you're laying in. Go back there, feel it. 
the soft sheet beneath your body, under the eye, under the eye. The fuzzy blanket maybe that you have over top of you, it's so warm and comfortable. Maybe you hear the air conditioner blowing or you have a fan going, deep breath. Thank you, you say thank you. Thank you for my bed, under the nose. Thank you for my pillow. Deep breath. Now let's think about our physical body. Thank you for my feet. Why are you grateful for your feet? Speak it out loud. I'm grateful for my feet because they help me step through life. They help me walk through life. They get me from point A to B. They carry me through my day. And now your legs, think about your legs. Thank you to my legs for carrying me forward, walking me toward my loved ones. Thank you for my legs for taking me to my job or taking me on vacation, pressing the pedals while I drive so I can get to my destination safely. And now go down to your collarbone here and you can tap all around your chest if you want to. Or just underneath your collarbones, whatever feels good. Deep breath. And thank you for my hips. Wrapping your hips in light and love. Thank you for my belly. Thank you for digesting my food, processing and absorbing my food, delivering the nutrients to my body. And now, gratitude for our chest, our lungs, our heart. Thank you for pumping my blood. Thank you for helping me breathe and carry oxygen through my body. And now find your nipple, go down to the very bottom of your rib right there and start tapping deep breath. If you're just now joining, you can't mess it up, hop in, deep breath. And thank you for my head. Say thank you for my head, thank you for my brain. Thank you for my five senses. Thank you for my arms and my hands, my arms to hug, my hands to hold hands and touch. Feel the world around me smiling. Deep breath. Okay, now reach across and go right there under your arms. You can tap both sides or one side. Deep breath. Hmm. You may feel tears that want to move. Just cry. You may feel yawning, coughing, sneezing, whatever comes up. Just let it move. It's your body releasing the old stored emotions, conscious and unconscious, right? We don't have to know what's moving. We just get to witness it move and get excited about the fact that we're making room for more joy. Deep breath. And now going back to the bed that you're laying in this morning, crawling out of bed in your inner vision, standing up and stretching, looking around. Thank you for my room. Thank you for the roof over my head. Now walking into the bathroom and looking in the mirror. Thank you for me. Say thank you for me and smile at yourself. And now maybe you'll brush your teeth, go to the bathroom or take a shower. Just get to love that bathroom for all of the resources and support that it gives to you. It's the simple things that we overlook, isn't it? Did you ever live in a time or space where you had to use an outhouse? Where you had to walk outside to take a poop in the middle of the night, in the cold, with the snow on the ground? Me neither. <laughs> like 
what a blessing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Deep breath. Okay, now we're gonna go here. We're just now hopping on, just hop in. You can't mess it up. We're tapping on the top of our thumb. Deep breath. Remember, you don't even have to say any words and it's still shifting and alchemizing whatever is ready to shift and move to hold more joy in your nervous system, to hold more joy in your life. Now the top of your index finger, deep breath. Remember, we're plucking the strings of our meridians, releasing, I see a harp in my mind, and these beautiful notes that we're playing. We see music as a beautiful reflection of the human condition, you know? And as we pluck those strings, we release all of the old stored trauma that we've experienced through our life and we get to experience it as a gift, the beauty way. We get to see the beauty in all of it and realizing that all of that pain and trauma is never in vain, that we get to release it and it drifts away like a beautiful golden dust, a gift of love to the universe. We get to open doors for people by really leaning into and dealing with our own trauma and really deeply, truly healing and showing people a better path in this lifetime. Okay, now top of the, I'm like, you wanna say hi? It's James is over here chatting to me. Or tapping, hello. And I don't even knock my phone over. Don't stop too hard. This is James. You want to tap with us? You're, you're good. You don't want to tap, are you sure? Deep breath. You need a towel? On the bed. There's a whole pile of towels on the bed. You're welcome. Love you. Isn't he sweet? <laughs> okay, now go to the bottom of the ring finger. Deep breath. Smile. Telling you, it is amazing what tapping will do for you. The shift, what an easy way to shift your life. You really just can't fully comprehend what all's happening when we intentionally tap into the meridian. That's amazing. I see Susan Anderson. Hi, honey. <laughs> and now we're going to go to the top of the pinky finger. Deep breath. And now go right here inside of the palm. It's the heart point. Deep breath. It's all about the breath and the tap together. Every breath you take, alchemy is happening. We breathe in life force energy. We breathe in love and we release anything that's ready to be alchemized. Make more room for joy. Make more room for joy. Deep breath. Okay, now I want you to go back to the top of your head and we're gonna do, now we're gonna like tap in some love. We're gonna do kind of a rapid succession through all the other points. Okay, so I'm gonna go through one more time, all the points and we're gonna say, I choose love. Simple, it gets to be that simple. If you never know, if you, if you never know, if you, ever struggle with like what to say like I don't know what to say I didn't even I can't even access anything right now like maybe sometimes you're super overwhelmed with emotion and it's like I just don't even know how I feel right now you can always revert to drop into this statement I choose love deep breath love moves mountains doesn't it I choose love inner eye I choose love deep breath Deep breath at every spot. <sighs> Exhale with a sigh. Outer eye. I choose love. <sighs> Under the eye. I choose love. You may get dizzy. It's okay. Just don't do this like sitting on a bench where you're going to flop over anything. <laughs> Make sure you have something supporting your back. Deep breath. Sit down and I choose love. Deep breath. <sighs> Under the nose. I choose love. <sighs> under the chin or on the chin, under the lip. I choose love. 
<sighs> Collarbone. I choose love all over. Let's go all over the chest. Do the good old gorilla pound. Mm. I choose love. <sighs> now go down to that bottom rib. Find the nipples. Go straight down to the bottom of the rib. I choose love. Exhale with a sigh. <sighs> now reach across under the armpit. I choose love. If this is too intense for you to slow down, slow down. Tap gently. No big deal. Go at your own pace. But if you really want to move some shit, let's do this. Deep breath. I choose love. Okay, let's go back to the heart point right here. Inside of the wrist, deep breath. I choose love. Now, side of the thumb. I choose love. Top of the index finger. I choose love. And say it like you mean it. <laughs> and if you feel some like anger or something come in, like say it like you're angry. I choose love, damn it. I'm ready for love. I choose love. Okay, now, uh, what do you call that? Middle finger, deep breath. I choose love. Under the ring finger, I choose love. <sighs> okay, now, inside of the pinky finger, I choose love. Smile, and now side of the hand here, I choose love. Okay, now we're gonna end. We're gonna end with the gorilla. How are you doing? Deep breath, I choose love. I don't have batteries. I'm almost done, hold on. Right. Oh, okay. Now, kind of roll your neck, shake your body a little bit, like shake it out. Clear the field. Clear the field. What wants to go? What wants to move? Smile. Even if you feel like you can't access the smile, just smile. It resets your nervous system. We're recalibrating everything with a smile. Ooh. Feel that? That's oxytocin. When we tap, we release oxytocin. It's the love hormone. Okay, it floods our cells. It's so healing. It heals every cell in our body. Now, if, you, if it still feels big for you and you actually were feeling, I don't know, maybe some anger, some resentment, some fear. Maybe you don't even know the emotion. Maybe you're sad. Maybe you're crying. It's okay. It's all coming up to the surface to be felt and witnessed. It just wants to be seen. Please stop. It just wants to be seen. Then it can move in a different way. You can open up to a new experience in your physical body, in the world around you, with the relationships in your life. It changes everything. My point is, I'm just meandering here. If you feel the big emotion, still keep tapping. Pick a spot and just keep tapping on it. Intuitively find that spot. If you feel some pressure come up in your body somewhere, breathe into that space as you tap. It really gets to be a very intuitive process. You're not going to mess it up. Do what feels, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Because it doesn't always feel right necessarily. Just intuitively let your body lead. And as you do this more often, you will, like, you will be more in tune with your body and your body's going to take you where you need to go. Your intuition is going to take you where you need to go. And the more that you do this, the more you enhance your belief that it will work and it works more quickly. I'll give you a specific example and then I'm going to close out and reiterate what the practice is um, for tomorrow morning. Um, I did a session, a 45 minute tapping session with my team. I have a team of women that I'm building my business with and my gift to them is tapping because I'm really good at leading them intuitively through tapping and I'm able to kind of... Uh, um, access the field that we're all co-creating together and I know what to lean into like what is their resistance what is my resistance how can we shift it together and there's always a more rapid shift when we do it together and so what happened is I, I led them through a 45 minute tapping and then I went into my inbox in Facebook and I saw that I have a woman who wants to come into business with me James can you hold on I'm almost done um, I'm telling you you find that thing you find that thing that lights your soul up. You fully lean into it for yourself first and then serve from overflow. 
every single time you will see a shift in the world around you. You grow a business, like we came to do soul work. You wanna grow a business through your soul work. Get quiet, let your soul show you what that tool is, share it with the collective, and your whole world will expand. Your business will explode. But you gotta be quiet. You gotta listen, you gotta shh. You gotta ask, shh, and allow the intuition to come through. The more you do it, the more, the louder that voice will be for you. Okay, so reminder, drop words in the comments, please, so I can add some words to our beautiful jar of water. Remember, we're gonna create a water frequency. Um, we're gonna create a water frequency um, on our last day of this gratitude journey. It's 28 days, we're on day 11. When you wake up tomorrow, my, my loving suggestion to enhance your life, uh, gratitude practice number 11, when you open your eyes, do not get out of bed until you thank, until you say thank you for the pillow that you're laying on, for the blanket that you're laying with. When your feet hit that ground, be in gratitude for the ground that holds you up. When you go brush your teeth, give gratitude for that toothbrush. When you get your first drink of water, like literally everything throughout your day, say thank you all day long. And then tell me what shifts. I guarantee you something shifts for you. Guaranteed. Gratitude shifts everything. Okay. I love y'all so much. Have an amazing week. Thank you for leaning into this practice. Thank you for the work that you do for the collective. Remember, I raise my glass to you. You are still in the minority. And you know that probably based on the physical world around you and the people that you're interacting with. You are not alone. You do not go unwitnessed on this journey. I see you. I, I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the work that you do for the collective by saying yes to you and going into the silence. Nastrovia, Polish. <laughs> say bye to everyone. I want to say bye and then I can help you. It's okay. There's James. He's stomping around. The phone's about to fall over. We had to see his pretty little face. A handsome, handsome face. Little cutie. See my cutie? My little starseed baby. <laughs> oh, love him. He likes to tap, don't you? No. Nope. Oh, come on. How can the, the child of the tapper not <laughs> like to tap? You know you like to tap sometimes. Well, when you, but why, give me one reason why you have used tapping at some point throughout the school year. Because the stupid girls in my class. Oh, oh, that's not what I was going, I was thinking about your test taking, bro. No, I was thinking about. When like, you get anxious. No, it's like, I like jumping. When you're enacting, when you're interacting with the girls. Yes. Is that what you're talking yep, about? Only, only with one, because they're the only way fun of me, so. Oh, well, we get to hold them in love, too. We'll work. Uh, I don't. We'll work. James, we'll work on that. <laughs> James, didn't anybody ever teach you to smile and nod? <laughs> All right. Love, everyone. Bye-bye.